Hi guys! Today I have such a fun video for you. I am finally going to share with you Riley's um, Christmas presents from me and Duncan, my husband, her dad. So we're just going to go straight into it and I'm going to grab the camera. Go going to. I'm going to grab the camera and share this gorgeous dollhouse with you. Um, All right, so this is Riley's main Christmas present. It is a Drewer doll's house. Um, and these doors in the front, or really the walls in the front actually close. And there's all these windows on it. It doesn't want to stay closed right now because I've just got it on my, um, this is like a yoga inversion stool thing so it's just not a proper service surface for this um and i'm quite sure it's at quite an angle um but when this is you know more level it does stay closed so um i love that there's like a little door that opens and closes on this and then to push that back to keep it open the inside is just two stories there are definitely bigger more complex, um, for lack of a better word, I don't know, dollhouses out there, but I just love this one. We already have a much smaller Drewer dwarf house, um, and that gets a lot of use and play. And I just wanted to give her something a little bit bigger to play with. So this has like little stairs um, that go up through a little hole there. And oh, there's also on the side, there's a little um, balcony on the second level there. And there's just like windows on all the sides of it. I absolutely love it. Um, so inside for Christmas, because these are all Christmas presents that she's gonna get, I have some Miley furniture. Um, if you guys are familiar, sorry, I'm holding my camera with the other hand now. If you guys are familiar with, um, some of my older videos or any of my other toy haul videos. Riley got um, some of these Miley mice for her birthday. Um, and this is a little princess one because once again, if you're familiar with my older videos, you'll know she has um, some pieces from the Ostheimer Castle collection, which are absolutely stunning and gorgeous. But she has, um, she has a few Miley mice because I got her a king, a queen, and the princess, and then her grandparents got her the grandfather and grandmother. Um, but this furniture is sized to go with the Miley mice. So um, I've got a bed. I've got the three rugs that they do. This one is my absolute favorite. I love it. It's just like lots of textures and pretty pastel colors. Um, there's a more graphic um, black and white print and then there's a very classic um, gold kind of runner style rug um, and then I've got these two little baskets that will be perfect for just like putting all the little bits and toys and whatnot that her you know that she's got for her toys <laughs> toys for her toys um, this couch is actually not by Miley um, this I just got off of Amazon um, I'm not sure if it was the name of the store or if it's the name of the brand, but it was by or from the Dollhouse Emporium, but it was through Amazon. Um, but that's just like, uh, basically it's just a 12th scale couch. So, and I think that the sizing works well for the Miley because here's the uh, little princess sat on the couch. I think she's a good size for a 12th scale just because I thought the um, neck size up that you can generally get for um, dollhouse kind of furniture is more like Barbie sized and that would just be like way too big. Um, yeah, so the couch is not by Miley. Everything else inside of the dollhouse is. Um, this is just a little dresser, the drawers open and close, and then there's little hangers on there. So I'm gonna go back into the rest of the hall. All right, so the dollhouse is Riley's big present. It's her main present. And then after that, I've kind of got um, a couple of big runner-ups. Well, big, 
to me. Um, but this is definitely kind of like the big showstopper for the day. Um, and if you guys have watched any of my older videos, um, Riley is, she's just over four now. She had her birthday back in October and she has consistently, since she was about two, always just played with um, little dolls. She's loved setting up like houses and stuff for them. So one of her other main presents that I'm really excited for are these Kapla blocks. I hope I'm in kind of in frame here. Um, and basically what these are, are um, they're just building blocks or planks and they're all exactly the same. So there are no different sizes, um, but they are worked on a ratio and basically you build with them <laughs> um, and you just kind of create whatever you want. Now, one of Riley's um, favorite or most, um, you know, constant ways of playing is building. So basically she builds and what she tends to do is build houses and then she sticks her dollhouse furniture in it and that's how she just likes to play more than anything else. So she's a builder and she loves setting up houses or, you know, just like play scenes for her dolls. Um, so I always love expanding her building collection. And the structures, I did actually play with these very quickly when I first got them. I'll insert the uh, picture for what I created with them. So that was a lot of fun. I really love that. I did that one morning while Riley was still sleeping. Um, and basically that build came straight from this book. So to my knowledge, there are four books. I've just got one to start with. Um, and I'll just see kind of how she plays with them and whatnot if she really seems to need the books or if she just likes using them completely open-ended however she wants. But you can see the book just basically has like, um, I hope you guys can see this, but I don't really have time to like take separate shots to show you everything. Um, but it just shows you different things. So that's the building that I built um, with instructions, you know, how to build them. Um, so it just gives you some ideas. And this is a buildings one because like I said, Riley likes to do buildings. <laughs> But yeah, so she's just got a big old box of these capital blocks. And like I said, I'm just really excited for her to play with these. I'll be honest with you guys. I don't think these will be a big hit on Christmas Day. Because with on Christmas, she's going to get loads of toys. We also have quite a big family. So she's going to get a lot of presents beyond what you see here. Um, and you know... I love these and I see a lot of potential in these, but the reality is, is like something like this and some other stuff that I have in front of me is going to grab her attention more. But I do think that these are something that more down the line, she'll realize their potential. And I think down the line, she's going to, you know, get a lot out of them. Um, and I really like the Kapla because they have like they have such a longevity to them because they're they're fun to build with for adults like there are some really challenging things that i have seen on their instagram um you can have a lot of fun with them you can build anything with them um, and if she really gets into these, they do all different colors as well. So I'm going to get some color packs that she can add in to add some details to her build. You know, we have places to go with these. So I really, really love these Kapla blocks. Push them out of the way. Oh, I meant to say before I even got into that, I meant to mention very quickly, I've also got her, um, so she's already got all of these. Miley Mice, which she got for her birthday. She got um, a couple from her grandparents and she got three from me and her dad. Um, but basically what I've done is because the ones that I got her are like king and queen and princess, I basically got her some clothes um, that she can change them into 
to make them just like more like everyday characters, not necessarily royalty. Just so she can kind of have some like regular clothes for them to have like everyday life. Because, um, you know, royalty doesn't always wear a crown. They probably do in Riley's world. Um, yeah. So I'm going to move this over here. I'm going to finish really quickly with the presents that are from Mommy and Daddy. And then I'm going to move into the Santa presents. I'm almost done. There's not much more in front of me here. Another building toy. This could seem repetitive to some people, but like I said, this is one of Riley's favorite, favorite, favorite ways to play. So this is why I've got like two different building things. But um, this is by the brand. Uh, I'm not sure how to say it, but it's um, T-Fock or Tay-Fock or maybe not even either of those pronunciations. But this is so cool. So these are real bricks. So it's like regular brick material. Um, this is quite a little heavy box for the size. Um, and what it comes with is um, cement and it comes with some ideas for what you could build. Um, so I think there's a couple different pictures of like things you could build using this set. Obviously you could build also just whatever else you want to with the bricks. Um, and this is like one of the sets they do. There are very many sets, um, you know, they've got like castles and stables and all sorts of different sets that you can buy. And this like, this has six plus, but I'm sorry, like I know my four year old will love this. I know she'll be able to do it. Um, and the best thing about this is the cement is water soluble. So this is why I know my four year old can do this project because after it's done, so it dries and you've got a finished product, you can take the whole thing, put it in water, it, the cement dissolves away and you let the bricks dry off and you use them again. So it's the toy that you build with again and again and again, but it's got that really, really fun element of, you know, putting the, the, um, cement down with the trowel, you know, you mix the cement with the water yourself. Um, and you get to like, you know, it's very much like the three little pigs, right? You know, I'm going to take my time and I'm going to build my house and it is going to be the strongest house you've ever seen. Uh, I mean, actually she basically do the three little pigs cause we got our brick house. We got our, uh, stick house. I just need to get her some straw and like, we've got the three little pigs going right there. That's going to be my next story sack video or my, uh, bookish play video <laughs> right there. Um, <laughs> I think I'm funny. I don't know why. So I've got her two extra boxes of um, the cement to go with that. So this does come with cement, but it basically only comes with cement. Uh, it only comes with enough cement for like that one first build. So I've got her just some extra cement. So we can definitely play with it a few times. Um, and then lastly, I've just got basically like little filler presents, right? These are just like kind of like things that I've bought and have just kind of gotten shoved in a bag. Oh, maybe I'll give it to her for Christmas. One of those kind of things. So this is an Orchard Toys um, Things to Do sticker activity book. Um, we've had a few of these Orchard Toys coloring or activity books before. They're really good quality. Um, the paper's nice and thick. Um, uh, and I, I bring that up because for the coloring books, uh, Riley actually likes to paint with like poster paints in them. Um, and they're thick enough to withstand the poster paints without bleeding through. So she can do both sides of the paper because they are double sided. Um, this isn't a, well, it is kind of a coloring book, but it's an activity book as well. All of their sticker or coloring books come with, um, sheets of stickers in them as well. Um, yeah, so I mean... It's just a coloring book, right? But, um, you know, they're cheap and they're good quality. So love them. And then lastly, this was actually something I bought for when we went to Florida. I'd had it for the flight home, but Riley slept for a really good portion of that flight. So this didn't get pulled out. So I was just like, oh, I'll throw it in the Christmas pile. Um, and this is just a Melissa and Doug Day of Glamour puffy sticker activity book. Now we're going into the Santa presents. So in our house, 
um, Santa brings the stocking. Just because growing up, um, Santa always brought the stocking. Um, and in the past years, Riley's only four, so it's not been long. Um, it was only what went into the stocking that came from Santa. Um, this year there's going to be something that I'm pretty sure is not going to fit into the stocking, but I'm just going to put it next to the stocking, unwrapped, I think. Um, but anyway, so I'll show you the big thing first. Santa is bringing Riley this gorgeous, absolutely stunning, super sweet, love it so much, Dinkum doll. And this is by the brand Ollie Ella. Um, and I just, I love this doll. These dolls just came out. They were just released, um, I think like a couple months ago, maybe not even a couple months ago. And it was love at first sight. I saw it and I was like, that is going to be Riley's uh, Santa present. I just, as soon as I saw it, I was like, I love it. I need it. That's going to be from Santa. Um, so this is Peanut. They have multiple different dolls that they make. Um, I think think maybe there are six of them. They all have different skin tones. They have different color eyes, different color hair. Um, yeah, and they're really beautiful. I could totally see Aliella coming out with like an even bigger variety um, in the future just because they've been so incredibly popular. It took me a while to get my hands on this one. For a while, I wasn't even sure if I was going to be able to get my hands on one before Christmas, um, but they did have like huge restocks everywhere. Um, before Christmas, I was finally able to get my peanut. Uh, love it so much. So, um, I think what I love about this doll so much, so much is basically it's like a Waldorf doll in its aesthetic. Um, and obviously, I love kind of like Waldorf theories for play and learning. Um, and I've just always loved how Wal Waldorf dolls look. But most of them are not vegan um, and this one is a vegan doll so I love that and it's just super sweet I believe it's made of like an organic cotton not positive um, the hair is just so cute on this and this is like a unisex unisex doll because it's a baby right it could be a boy or a girl but I've seen lots of people put like little pigtails in it to make it look more feminine or you just kind of like leave the hair as is to leave it very unisex. It could be a boy or a girl with its hair like this, right? Um, and they all come with very, this unisex outfit. And then, so besides the doll, Santa is also bringing her this little Dinkum doll. Um, it's a suitcase. And this is actually, um, so Ollie Ella also make like, Riley's got like a lucky, you know what, I'll skip to it. So Santa's also bringing a little Ollie Ella luggy basket for her Dinkum doll. How cute, how cute. So what I was getting at saying is that Ollie Ella also make larger items. This is actually kind of, I think, where they started um, making like these wicker kind of items. So Riley has a larger Ollie Ella luggy that she carries around with her and she loves it. She like tries to bring it with her to the store. Uh, I say tries to, we actually have brought it to the store with us. You know, we've like walked all the way down to our local um, corner store um, with it. And then she like drags it back home with the, whatever we bought in it. It's really cute. Um, you know, if we go to the playground, she like throws a couple of her toys in there and brings it to the playground with her. So I know she will love having this for her little peanut. I love it. Okay, so what I was, the reason I brought that up is because they also make a suitcase for kids that's like, you know, child sized. Um, so this is kind of a little miniature copy of their See Ya suitcase, but this is for the Dinkum. And this inside, comes with so they've got right now they've got four different outfit sets that you can buy for them and they all come in a different colored little see a suitcase so cute um so this is the outfit i got to start with i'd probably love to get the rest of the outfits because y'all know how i am i do not know how to uh 
stop with the buying of the toys. I just love toys. I, you know, my child plays beautifully with her toys. Um, so I just, you know, I, I love toys myself as well and she plays with them loads. So I just keep buying them. So yeah, I could see myself definitely getting the other sets of clothes. But um, yeah, this one comes with this cute little card again. These little, kind of like a taupey brown pair of trousers. And this is once again a very unisex outfit, isn't it? Um, this comes with some little, or I guess I would say these are gray shoes. So her Dinkum doll comes with some brown ones. So she's got a little change of shoes. Oh, and I didn't mention, so the Dinkum dolls are actually designed so they can stand up as well on their own without any support or any special stand. So that's kind of nice actually. Like they're made, their shoes are very sturdy to hold them up basically. Okay. It's one of those little touches that's like so important to kids. Most baby dolls do not stand up. So it also comes with this little passport, how sweet. And in the passport, you've got some little stickers that can kind of like, they're made to like stamp your passport with. Um, little card to give your little dolly a name. And then it's just like, you know, little tiny little book with like, just a little book with like lots of little bits in it. So that's cute. It's like a mini activity book to go with your doll. All right, guys. So it is two days later and basically my camera's battery cut out the other day and this is the first chance I've had to have somebody else occupy Riley while I film. <laughs> um, so these are her stocking stuffers um, and this is what she'll get from Santa Claus in addition to the Dinkum doll and the little accessories that go with the Dinkum doll. Um, so this was just like a little cheapy gift from our local like bargain kind of a store. Um, and this is a little parachute jumper. It's just one of those kind of like classic toys. We all had these as kids, right? Although this is a bit of a fancier version than what we had as a kid or what I had as a kid at least. Mine was basically like a plastic bag and like an army man that was about the third of the size of this one. <laughs> um, yeah, so she's got that. Um, from the same store, I just picked up these little, just classic dominoes. Um, this is because her grandpa has dominoes that she was playing with in Spain. And um, she really liked them and like, she's like asked about dominoes since then. So I got her that set and it was like a couple pounds from that store. Um, I got her a few, there's a hair stuck to that, gross. Um, I got her a few tubs of this light clay. Ooh, it's not focusing. There we go. This light clay from Flying Tiger. Um, so she's got that. I've got, um, this is a little hape. It's just like a little cup and ball kind of a toy. And then we've got a Goki um, top. This is one of those tops that you pull the string and then the top comes off and spins off on its own. I think she'll love that. I'll probably take it out of the packaging before I put it in the stocking. Um, these are crayons for the bath. The brand is, can't get it to focus, but it's um, Kit Puzz. Kit Puzz? I think it's a Japanese brand or something. Um, but basically these bath crayons actually float in the water. I've never used them before. Um, they do have bigger sets, but they're kind of expensive. So I just got this to start with and we'll see how they work. And if they work good, I'll probably get her like a bigger set maybe for, I don't know, Easter or something. We'll just see. But um, I thought that would be fun to play with in the bath. Um, LOL dolls, right? Because she's four and she loves LOL dolls. Uh, so basically, if you know, you know. Um, Riley already has one of the LOL dolls from this series and it's the um, the actual doll. So it comes in a bigger bauble. Um, and if you have all three of them, you're supposed to be able to stack these and turn it into a snowman. She really wants to be able to make a snowman. So I've got her the fluffy pets and the surprise littles. So she has one of each size so she can make a snowman um, and that will just make her day. Um, well, 
lots of things will make her day because right it's Christmas. The last thing that she got are um she's never had these before but I've seen them on like an accidentally vegan list um and they're just millions they're supposed to be like these tiny little chewy candy things that are vegan um yeah so I just thought it sounded like something she would like so just picked up one of those no idea if she'll eat them or not but um yeah that's it so that is everything Riley is getting for Christmas um as per usual I've gone a little bit overboard or a lot of bit overboard basically I started shopping back in July or June even I don't know and sometimes you just kind of forget what you've stashed away and then it gets to Christmas and you're like whoa I've got quite a lot so um yeah that is everything I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you in my next one bye